Hey guys, it's the Quarantine Cuber, and today I'm going to show you how I set up CS Timer to go from the boring old plain background to this much more interesting background. So I finished resetting my CS Timer um, desktop browser. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Option which is the top left corner gear icon right here. And I'm going to be running you through what I do from global all the way to virtual and Bluetooth. Most of them won't change much, but some of them will change quite a bit. So you will want to watch. So the first thing I do is keep, I keep global the same. For display, I change the zoom to 125%. Select timer font, I keep it at digital one. UI design, I put at material because the shadows aren't there. UI design, I keep at desktop. Scramble panel st display style and statistics panel display style. I keep them both at normal. So I keep them both at normal here, like this. For my background image, I change it to number three, which has this really cool gem design sort of thing. Um, timer size one to 100 is, I just keep it at 20, any smaller or any bigger and it just looks off. For the color, I set it at white or style 2 and white does look sort of bland but I'm like but I'm going to change it. Uh, font color I keep the same background color just to spice it up a bit. I keep it at like a light blue sort of over here. Like that. The board color, I just lighten it up a tad. For button color, I keep it, I, I like keeping it at like a magenta. It contrasts nicely with the cyan that I choose and everything else in color stays the same. For timer, I say use WCA, I, a, use WCA inspection except blind. Voice alert of WCA inspection male. Voice volume as I keep it, I lower it down a bit to 90. Entering in times with timer. Timer update is none. And keeping, and time of keeping space down is 0.55 seconds. Multi-phase, if I'm just trying to do um, like a normal solve, I keep it at one. If I'm trying to see like how good am I at cross or F2L or OLL or POL, etc. I keep it at four or five because I do two look OLL. So I'll just keep it at one for now. I'll show you how multi-phase works later. So I'll just keep it at four. Um, scramble, I don't change anything. Statistics, I don't change anything except, except this part. List one type, I keep it at mean of three. List two type, I keep it at an average of five. And I keep everything else the same. For tools, I don't change anything and I don't really change anything else for virtual or Bluetooth either. Um, so I'll just show you something. For multi-phase, CFOP is like cross is one phase, F2L is one phase, OLL is one phase, and PLL is one phase. CF plus OP is cross and F2L is one phase, which so first two layers is one phase, and last layer is one phase. This one, C, C, 4Fs, OP, is cross the four F2L pairs, OLL and PLL. For this, for C F F F F O O P P is cross the four F two L pairs 
two look OLL and two look PLL. And RU is just however you would solve it with RU. So like first block, second block, CML, etc. So what I would do is, so I have my Mega Minx here just to show you. Um, so multi-phase I don't think works when we're, I don't think, so inspection doesn't work when you're using multi-phase. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, oh, I think I forgot to turn it on. Uh, so, see now it says inspect. See, and then it says eight seconds. I stop. I can do this. Ooh, I finished cross. I finished F2L. I finished OLL. And I finished PLL. So if it goes something like that, then over here it would tell me. I don't know what I did to do make this. So that is like all the inspection. So say I'm a so that's all of the phases. It does get pretty wide, this statistics panel, because of that. But So that was my tutorial on how I set up CS Timer. If you're looking for more videos like this, click in the top right corner to check out my, to subscribe to my channel. Click in the bottom left corner to see the video that I uploaded last. And click in the bottom right corner to see the video that YouTube recommends you watch next. As always, keep Cuban at home, and I'll see you next time.